rotation instrument. Got our tripod legs over here and our throw station down here. Uh, the setup process starts with uh, uh, unlocking the tripod legs, raising it to chest level, um, obviously depending on your height, kind of get it right around your chest, uh, lock the legs. then unstrap the legs. Now depending on um, the area that you're shooting, the direction that you're shooting, um, the mechanism is uh, that you want to grab uh, the two legs um, directly in front of you uh, and have one directly opposite of you, just one leg. And uh, you're going to open the legs directly in front of you and kick the other leg out the direction that you want to shoot. So if I were to be desiring to shoot this way, I would be kicking the leg this way. Um, so I would do so like this. Kick the leg out, kick the legs in, like so. Um, now, a minimum of three feet clearance between all legs is uh, what we want to make sure that the instrument will be stable. Now we also, um, now assuming this, this uh, white paper with the target is going to be our setup point, um, should be uh, pretty much directly on that point uh, with the top of the uh, tripod somewhat level, doesn't have to be perfectly level. Uh, once we get that intact, we can go ahead and the pull station, open the pull station. Grab the handle with one hand, the bottom of the pole station with one hand. Go ahead and place it on top of the tripod. You're going to screw the pole station in, but gently, and you're not going to not going to screw it in all the way. Close the box. Lock the box. You're ready to start leveling the instrument. First uh, component will be turning on the tool station, and uh, for for the tool stations that have the optical plummet, uh, they don't have to turn on the tool station because they could just sight and uh, start looking for the uh, setup point down below uh, without even turning on the instrument, but. Since we have a laser plummet, we will turn the instrument on to turn on the laser plummet. Uh, and you do so uh, by going to uh, menu and just going down the page until you find laser plummet. And you hit the on button for laser plummet. Now, some of these uh, uh, tripods have a little lever down below. They so have to kind of move out of the way see the laser plummet more clearly. Uh, this one does as well. So we um, kind of clip it onto one side and you see how, how clearly we can see that laser plummet. So now that we've uh, got the laser plummet on, we go ahead and grab the two legs directly uh, in front of us and we're going to slowly move them to within a quarter inch of the Point. We're within a quarter inch, looks good, everything's good, we're ready to level. So now, uh, what we look for is the bullseye bubble. Um, in order to get the bullseye level bubble, that will be our first objective. Um, so in this case, the, the bullseye bubble is uh, pointing to, to this direction. The bubble is all the way onto this side of the bullseye. So. Uh, that would tell me, and it's kind of right in the middle here between these two legs. So that would tell me I can either lower this leg or this leg. And it's always lowering. Whatever direction the bullseye bubble is pointing to, that leg is going to get lower. So in this case, it's kind of like in between these two. So you can start off with any leg. Uh, let's just say we start off with this one. And it'll be slow leveling until that bubble moves and it just moved into the, this, this leg. Now I take this leg and lower it until the bubble moves to another leg. And 
and it's moving, it's moving. And now it's on almost to the middle, the dead center. Close enough to where I could start using the uh, leveling screws. Now, it's important to understand that we uh, want to use the legs as much as we can until we get the bull, the bubble off the bullseye, the, the big, uh, the bigger circle. If we get it off that wall and somewhat in the middle, um, we can start using the leveling screws. Uh, the leveling screws go, um, uh, if this was a uh, axis, this would be one axis and this would be the other axis. So um, we go, um, turn both thumbs in for the, for the bullseye bubble to go left and then both thumbs out to go right. And then this bullseye bubble would make it go um, front and back. Now, obviously, depending on where you're standing. So for right now, this bullseye bubble is towards me just a little bit. So what I would be doing is moving this, and that's all it would take. And then fine tuning by going out, I would be going left. Okay, I'm pretty much in the middle. Now, my uh, laser plummet turned off, I can hit it and turn it on again. You see how it's kind of off the point now? Uh, all we're going to do now is we'll take this, unscrew it, and we're going to slide this in one plane and get over the point. Right over the point. Lock it in place, we're still level, looks good. Now, the, th the final step on leveling will be uh, leveling the plate level um, to get it exact, perfect precision. Uh, so that, that's going to do the same thing as I just explained, the axis going with two uh, leveling screws and one on the other side. So if I were facing this way, it would be these two and the one in the back. If I were facing this way, it would be these two and the one in the back, and vice versa over here. If I were on that side, it would be these two and this one in the back. So whatever way you're facing. So you always want to get two in front of you and one in the back. So you would uh, line this pole station up with the two that are in front of you, and now, um, depending on where your uh, plate bubble is, you would go in to go left and out to go right. Okay, so I gotta go left a little bit. So I am going out. Okay, once you get that in the center, what you're going to do is take this and rotate it 90 degrees to where this side is going to face you where you're standing. So it's going to be, you can either turn it this way or turn it the other way. Since I'm on this side, I'm going to turn it this way since the plate bubble is over here. So I'm going to turn this this way. And that was the 90 degrees. This is facing me. Now I'm going to switch sides to see the plate bubble right here. And I'm going to only use this tangent screw to uh, screw, screw uh, to the right to make it go right and left to make it go left. So, um, it's going to the left to make it go. Okay, got it good. You take it back, same exact position. Make sure that's square. Go right, left, right. Yes. Get that right, take it back. And you just keep, up, keep going back and forth until you get the plate bubble exactly in the middle. Okay, um, and then we've got the uh, laser. Finally, when you get it all nice, tuned, and level, you gotta make sure your laser plummet is still on. If you're a little bit off, again, you unscrew it, get back on. And you screw it back in, and then you check your levels again to make sure you're level. Looks like we're level. We'll level this way, and I'm set up ready to shoot. Ready to shoot my backside and start doing my uh, shooting, whatever it is that I'm doing.
that's pretty much all it takes to, to set up the tool station. Of course, uh, uh, you know, at first you'll be shooting to set up within, um, you know, a few minutes. Uh, as time progresses, you're going to be wanting to set up quicker and quicker. But the most important thing is to set up accurately and to take your time at first in the beginning because that's when you develop the habits. Uh, develop good habits in the beginning and that will be the basis for the shots that you'll be shooting a year, two, three, four down the line. So it's important to, to develop the good basics and a solid foundation with uh, layout work and, and setting up your total station. Uh, with a good base, you'll definitely get quicker. And that's going to be the end of our lesson.